Hi guys, welcome to um, the Pure Energy Healing Academy. Welcome to a beautiful conversation. Um, in a way that a lot of people don't truly understand and it's hard to make sense of. But let, let's try and break it down, shall we? <clears throat> the question was put to me, why is it I'm waking up so emotional? It's a great question. Do you know how many other people have asked that question, but in a slightly different way? Thousands. Why do I wake up exhausted, Mark? Why do I wake up angry? Why do I wake up in tears? Why do I wake up confused? So we've been taught as, um, as programmed people by a system, by religion, certain things, but we're never really taught real truth. In fact, real truth has been suppressed for many thousands of years. So what if I was to tell you that through my years of healing, years of each individual person coming into the academy, lying down and witnessing firsthand through experience certain situations that happen that actually leaves you no choice but to truly understand what happens when we sleep. So what I'm going to share with you in this video is my understanding personally. Not any books, not any videos. I have no idea what anybody else thinks about this. It's just my personal experience and observations from my clients over this decade and a half. First of all, I want to share something with you all right now that may help depression, that may help people's belief that they don't know who they are and they don't know why they came into this world. I'm going to eliminate that completely in a few moments. So it's good to stay on and listen to it. It's good to if you've never had a conversation or heard a conversation more than 30 second bite size, um, I don't know, addictive message, people are just running off now. Okay, just, just give me what I want to hear. Give me that tablet now because I don't want to listen to this conversation. It's too long. My brain doesn't want to hear it. It just wants everything in an instant. Well, obviously, you guys, this channel isn't for you. This channel is for people who really, truly want to understand what teaching and learning and, and going into depth. And it's actually pretty awesome if you've ever been with the likes of the Ikes, the Tolmans, all these amazing people who are amazing teachers, but you can't take a bite-sized chunk and understand it. You have to spend hours and hours and hours and hours until all the pieces fit together. So here am I trying to help you fit all the pieces together so you don't scratch your head going away thinking, well, what about this? What, what about that? Oh, I, are you, please tell me this. So I try and give you all the information. Now this conversation could last a couple of months, but I will try and give you the basis, the, the truth, the foundation of who you are, why you're here, of why you wake up stressed, upset, filled with emotions, lack of energy, all of those and many more. So first of all, you've got to understand who you are. And that is a pretty deep thought. So who are you? Tim, Jenny, Jane, Adam, that's not who you are. Now touch your body, feel yourself. Is that who you are? Are these fingers mine? Is this mouth mine? That's not who you are neither. That's just a, a space suit, so to speak. Comes and goes. So who is the real you? The real you is who you were before you entered into this space suit, this energy form, body, which is 
feelable. You can feel it. It's filled with water, blood, amazing. Space suit, to be honest. But that's not who you are. The mouth that's moving isn't who you are. The eyes that see isn't who you are. What you hear isn't who you are. However, what you feel, you're getting closer to who you are. You see, before you came into this world, you were in a world of infinite awareness. It's very difficult for you to understand that because you've forgotten where you came from. And there's a reason for that as well. But if I was to say to you, I saw glimpses of the other world, I can honestly tell you with my hand on my heart, this isn't your home. In fact, we could argue the fact that where is heaven and hell? I would say this is more like hell right now than heaven. Wouldn't you agree with what's going on right now? So, if what this man is saying that there is another world, this other world isn't made up of the world that you feel as in Mother Earth, rocks, stones, trees, animals. It's a world which is... There are no words that can explain what our home world is. There isn't, there's not enough words. They're too limited. Um, the feelings, you couldn't put them into words. The colours, you couldn't even come up with an idea of how to say what these colours are. The feeling of freedom is is such a, a low vibrational word to the to the real freedom of spirit. It's unreal. The love, compassion, the healing, the wisdom, the joy, the magic, the divine spark. Again, I'm not even giving it um not point not percent justice of what our world is where we come from. So when we realise that we are not what our body is or what our mouth says or especially what our brain tries to tell us, we realise that something else is going on. There is a beautiful divine relationship, a marriage between the physical body and you. So the physical body is merely a suit and this is who you are. And you come into this world and you join together both mind, body, spirit as one. Always remembering that the spirit is who you are and this is a space suit. So you're inside the space suit now and you're living your life. You're feeling, you're seeing in an energetic way, in a, a touchy-feely way, in a a different sense kind of way. All the senses of this space suit is giving you information, but the real you is inside here somewhere. Somewhere along the way, I don't know how many centuries or eons, we forgot that and we put all our belief system into the space suit. And thus we live in a world of sickness and illness and disease and most of all fear because we think we're going to die but we don't die the space suit corrodes wears out and then finishes but <laughs> you now become ultimate awareness infinite and powerful when you know that you don't fear death at all because you realise there's no such thing as death. But it's a good thing that a world has created this illusion that you should fear death because they can certainly put you in line and tell you what to eat and drink and what to take when you think your space suit is not doing so well. So this video is really about 
understanding that you are incredible. I'm not talking about your body or your laugh lines or your bum might be a bit big and your belly might be a bit uh, and I don't feel so good and that means nothing. <clears throat> None of that means anything. <clears throat> but you, your spirit is what I'm interested in when you're lying down and I feel that spirit and what happens. So what I started to notice with certain clients certain clients with Alzheimer's let's say and then let's say their husband brought their wife in who had severe Alzheimer's and they'd come up the stairs and they'd lie down and have a healing session they're lying down and there's nothing there there's there's just the space suit and I'm thinking this is strange this doesn't feel like I can feel their their spirit their soul their their the person that is who they are that I connect with it's not there so I'd start the healing session and within 20 or 30 minutes all of a sudden I feel them and I used to think well I wonder if the soul was kind of not dead but if something happened to the soul and over time I noticed that and if I'd go into hospitals and somebody say was in a coma and I'd be doing a healing session and like same feeling nothing there and in time the more I learn about this unusual phenomena which is never talked about at all it's erased because if you talk about it this can lead on to so many other things that would question the whole of um, science and everything but they already know they, they, these people already know these churches already know all of this they just keep it from us so as I'm working on somebody, say like a husband who the wife brings in and he sits in a chair instead of lying down and all of a sudden after 25, 30 minutes, his eyes open and the wife would say, oh, he's back again. And then they'd have a conversation and she'd be crying. And I'd be still doing the healing session and he'd be just talking to her and he'd look up and look at me and smile. And so many times that happened. And it's like, I've got him back again now. And then... She'd ring me up and say, I had him for three hours. I had him for eight hours. And uh, oh, Mark, thank you so much. And I'm saying, yeah, interesting. And then somebody once said to me, what is that? Somebody asked me about it. And I said, you know what? The more I do this over the years, the more I realize that the space suit has a glitch something isn't just quite right and the spirit isn't damaged isn't dead but the spirit is free to go it just goes and people used to say where does the spirit go and I said you know what I don't actually know and as I continued over the next five years thereafter I was doing healing sessions and sometimes when you do a healing session on somebody all of a sudden you can feel their spirit just move and leave the body sometimes just above the body sometimes go and then come back and I started seeing this on a regular basis but what I found fascinating was this when somebody had gone to sleep into a deep sleep and then their their real soul spirit who they are went and came back there's always a conversation afterwards. They always wanted to tell me that they saw the family in spirit. They saw their mother. They saw their grandmother. They spoke to so-and-so. And, -so. and I'd found, I found that fascinating. So I started realizing that when we're asleep, something extraordinary can happen, as well as when the body is kind of compromised. Many situations that this happens but predominantly, when you're asleep, I've come to understand that because we came into this world, into this spacesuit body, what we believed was our purpose that we need to find, our gifts <clears throat> that we need to share. I realized that that wasn't the real purpose it was only part of the journey, which we call the experience of the physical and the 
touch, the feel, the senses of that body and that beautiful connection you have together as long as it's not compromised. So I started meditating more, working with crystals more, and I think it was Moldavite which really took me to the level where I really truly understood it. And my first mentor said to me, you know, if you really want to know what your life is and what the existence of your life that has the purpose is, try Moldavite. So I used to go to sleep with Moldavite on my forehead, only a little piece. And the more I kept doing it, the more I wrote down in a book what was happening because I just wanted to understand it. And then I ended up, as coincident happens, reading for extremely famous celebrities in Hollywood, actresses, actors, directors. And I found that they all had a curiosity to astral travel. So we talk about it and then they, they would be talking about, please don't tell anybody kind of thing. Okay, no problem, but I'm interested. Tell me. And they'd share certain stories and they'd say, you know, Mark, did you know that when you ask to travel, if, you, if you're far away, it takes a long time to come back into the body. If you're only astral traveling a short distance, then you, you're quick to wake up. Makes sense. So I meditated on it and I went to sleep with a Moldavite on and many things were happening. And then I got to understand it more and more that sometimes the mind does go into this kind of trying to compute and work everything out. And that's a different energy. That's the body, the space suit, just re-energizing when it's asleep, which is a very, very beautiful and very special thing. It's actually quite magical when you think about it. Um, so sleep is vital. But the part being that you, not your spacesuit, not your clothing, that you are able to do work. And that's where you really, really shine. That's the real reason for being on this planet Earth. So what you don't understand is that you made a decision to come in this world to help this world at a certain point where things were going to happen. Is it all planned? Not, not. In my understanding, not exactly. Free will is what makes this world do good, bad, evil, damn right, satanic. But that's the way the world is. It's called free will. And um, like I said, it goes deep. It goes very deep. But let's continue. As I was going to sleep with Moldavite, I was waking back up and writing down certain things that were happening. And a lot of my clients were going through the same thing, wanting to understand this. And there is a kind of gift or work that we do and that we try and understand what we did through the night. We try and understand what, you know, the connection between the, the space suit giving information so the spirit can share and give it. But most of us are in the brain, so we don't listen to the soul. So it's very difficult to connect to that. But when you start to elevate with things like Moldavite and working with natural oils and cleansing yourself and freeing yourself from burden of daily life and all the nonsense that comes with it, when you become more open to the whole point of being here, you can start to process your night's work as I do now. And I process really, really well now. So I know when I've been in a, a child's playground, helping them from being bullied or hurt. I know when I'm in a swimming pool, helping somebody because they could be drowning. I know when I'm by the sea, when somebody could fall against a rock. I know when I'm in a place where people are arguing and fighting and nearly about to kill one another and I'm there trying to be the spirit that I am doing the work. I know when I'm at places where somebody's lying down on a bed and I'm giving them healing. I know when two spirits come together 
to connect and talk. So some of you might find that because we are now connected on a, a real level time, meaning that you see me and hear me, I, I'm here, we sometimes are able to connect as well. So you might find, I know it's going to sound weird, but you might find that you dream about me a lot. And you might feel that, oh, Mark was in my dream last night. And you might say to yourself, oh, it's just a dream. Well, actually, it's not. I'm a great traveler and I'm like the wind and I can be in as many places as I want when I leave the physical body. Because one thought can lead me to the Bahamas. My thought, like you, can lead you anywhere in the world. And you are like a Superman flying in the sky waiting to see if there's an issue. It's not like that, but it's, it's kind of like that. But it's a lot more divine it's a lot more perfect it's a lot more intense the gentle whispers that we get through the day when we're awake are because of somebody's been in a deep sleep and left their body coming to help so i know through the day i'm protected and loved because you guys have connected with me and you felt my energy and we help each other that's why i come into your dream so I come to help heal you. People may say this is crazy and that's okay because that's your interpretation of life. But mine is one which is slightly different. I've worked with thousands of clients and I've seen their sleep. I recognize energy. I know and feel the soul. I can tell you the energetic uh, level of health. I can feel energy. So if that client's has high energy, I can feel it. If it's low energy, I'll feel it. If they've got um, disease in their body, I can feel it. Whereabouts it is, I can feel it. Even if it's um, very uh, evident that it's on the body, I can trace it back to the source of where it started. And I can then tell you how it started. That's what a healer does, a true healer one who really wanted to find out root causes. So when you find that, you understand that. And that's pretty quick. Once you get into it after a few years, that's pretty quick. It doesn't take long before you, you feel that energy. And then you start to understand what else is going on. And like I said, a lot of people who go into a sleep, I used to say to um, certain people who were working alongside me, they're gone. And they'd say, oh my God, you're right. It's a different feeling. I'll say, of course, wait till they come back. You touch me when they come back. Just give me a t just a bit of touch when you feel they come back. And what happened was a lot of the times we'd touch each other at the same time. So it's evident as a healer. It's actually so easy to see as a healer that I guess what I'm trying to say in this conversation is don't you ever feel that you've never achieved enough don't ever tell me that you haven't served your purpose in this life don't ever say to me i don't know who i am and where i'm going i don't know what my path is i'm just this i'm just that don't ever say that i'm normally smiling i'm thinking you don't know who you are do you you don't know how powerful you are and actually this here what you're doing here is you're just looking after your body. You're experiencing something. And when your body's asleep, when it needs to have that re-energizing moment, that's when you really do the work. So let me end on this one note. It's only 20 some minutes. This could go on for hours and days and weeks. But let me tell you. Just take a deep breath for a moment. What you do on a night is so vital to this world. The real you, that power, that energy, that warrior, that lion, that you are, that I recognize, not the body, not the illnesses and the issues and the problems and the fears. I'm talking about the real spirit within you. That what makes the difference in this world and keeps the energy high and helps heal children 
adults, grandmas, help people move into the light at that very moment. Helping people who are just about to be knocked over. Help people, not everybody, but you do your best. The gentle whispers just to stop people from getting run over because they just see a car. Oh my God, I nearly killed myself. I, I can't believe I just woke up at that moment. Yeah, that's the breath of spirit whispering. The moments that I knew I shouldn't have done that. And that's because of people like you who work so hard to help this world. So don't you ever, ever question yourself again when you say, what have I ever done in this world? Take a page out of my book and know that you've been brought into this world and the proof is how bad the world is right now of how strong you are and powerful because you chose to come at the most difficult time in this world. And yes, free will will always take precedent. But you, my friend, when that spacesuit is asleep, resting, you are out there doing your work. And I say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Not from my heart exactly, but from your family and spirit. I want to say thank you. And I want you to recognise that you are powerful. And you are amazing. So if you'd like to join me in awakening that energy. Then get yourself a piece of Moldavite this Sunday. And we'll do a healing session purposely to try and attune you to your real you. To help you feel more than you've ever felt in your life. To catch a glimpse of what you do. Because maybe, just maybe, you might fall asleep in that session. So join me this Sunday, 8 o'clock on here, live on this channel. Tell everybody, go over to Mark Bajewski channel and tell them to come over here because I've been blocked from that channel for being a naughty boy from spreading truth and love. We find ways to bring everybody across. This Sunday, eight o'clock, Spain time, that's GMT, Madrid time. I'll see you here. And let's do a Moldavite healing session to help us connect to the real self. Have a beautiful evening. Think about this tonight before you go to sleep. Take care.